okay. Quick scan for power, no power. Well, green blue ramp in opposition, we open Tropical Island and Draga Tree Speaker. But I kinda wanna just take this good card here called Force of Will. Card's real spicy. Green Soul Ring, Chopper Tree Speaker. Soul Ring is in the pack. Everyone wants the green cards. Really? Hang on. I mean, Trump is really good too. Force of Will is so busted though. I need to move chat over a little bit. I mean, Force is great and all. <sighs> I'm taking Force of Will. <clears throat> I'm doing it, guys. You can't stop me. It's definitely Force or Trop. I agree with that. Now we can take Is It Signet? Is It Signet's nice. If we had taken Tropical Island, we probably still would be taking Is It Signet. Um, Nissa's okay. Chromox is fun. No, Chromox is... It's good, but it has a definitely a drawback. Um, whereas Is It Signet is just good in like any deck. It's the two best colors that want artifacts. It only costs two mana. Like It's just great. Take the Signet. We go Exhume now. Uh, <laughs> I don't think you want to do that into Exhum. Ooh. All right, chat. Here's the time. Do we draft to win or do we draft to have fun? Because there are some good options right now. <laughs> win or fun? Storm time? All right. <laughs> so wheel is great. Uh, if you wanted to win, we would be taking Vendillion. Actually, wait. Vendillion Click is pretty good though. Already won, have some fun. <sighs> I mean, Click is really nice with Force of Will. We can wheel Gush. <sighs> you know what? I haven't drafted Blue Tempo in a long time. I haven't drafted Blue Tempo in a while. I've forced, like, Storm a while. We can wheel the wheel, we can get Gush. Let's let's play to win some stuff. Honorable mention, yeah, Oracle's great too. Ooh, the goose. So Geist of Saint Traft is good with Force of Will. We can maybe pick up a mana tithe on the wheel. ASDF Becker, thank you for the Twitch sub. I appreciate it. Yeah, also Mono Blue Storm is what my, is my dream. I'm not a big fan of Scarab God. Mana tithe. We could take Arid Mesa. I think I'm gonna take the Geist though. Geist is great. Follow it up with swords or an off color signet. Tree speaker, Siggy, Oracle, and Ewit or Pilgrim. Yeah, that would have been pretty spicy, but we got to go Force of Will, Vendillion Click, Geist of Strange Draft, Swords of Plowshares. Yeah, Swords is really good. Ooh. Opposition this early? I'll take an opposition. Maybe we can wheel a lodestone golem. Super unlikely, but opposition's real good. And then we can take blade splicer for opposition shenanigans. Now we're doing it. Now we're doing it. Passing LED would be good for storm. Oh, we could also take the loot scoot. Hang on. <sighs> yeah, white is really good with opposition. It's between smuggler's copter and blade splicer. Copter is super busted. Like, really, really busted, but Blade Spicer is just good. Yeah, I'm hoping to list on wheels. No to Copter. All right, we'll take Blade Spicer. I mean, it's pretty medium. Ooh, History of Banalia Opposition. Count me in. <laughs> that's got to be good, right? Yeah, that's too sick to pass up. And then, I don't want so many threes, but Silver Blade is good. That's some late red cards, too. Yeah, Looter Scooter would have been better. Copter has a much better chance of wheeling, maybe. Oh, I need to move this up. This pack is really bad. I'm going to take Paladin, but I don't want to play it. Beanslayer? Cost five. I'm going to take Paladin. Five mana is a lot. Ooh, Spectral Procession or Danto Vanguard. I almost think, well, let's see. 
Did we already make history last draft? I don't know. How high is our top end? I want to curve out at four. I want opposition to be the last thing. Spectral Procession is really hard to cast. I'm going to take Vanguard. We want to be like heavy. Ooh. This could actually be a sort of Feast and Famine deck, but there's also Elish and Norn. This is hard. I don't usually like Sword. Nah, we're not going to have enough mana for Elish Norn. Oh! We got Mom and Tithe. Okay, I'm going to take Mom. Mom's irreplaceable. And Tithe is great. But we're in blue, so we can get like Spell Pierce and stuff. Mirren Crusader. I'm going to take Advantage, I guess. Hey! The Golem came around. Alright, now I'm living the dream. Maybe we're mono white. Keep in mind this deck might have heavy double white and double blue requirements. Oh, I agree. Which is why we're taking Flooded Strand here. Um, hopefully we can wheel a Daze. Daze would be great. We might even just end up... <sighs> mono white's pretty bad. Opposition gives mono white such good reach. No, we need fixing. We, we have double blue, double blue, and then a bunch of double whites. It's got to be fixing here. Um, Riftwing Cloudskate. Oh, I love that card. No way I could ever take Strand here. Well, <laughs> it'll really help your win rate, Exorok. It'll really help your win rate. Having the mana to cast your spells is probably the most important thing you can do in Drafting Cube. You gotta slam. Yeah, we're taking Riftwing here because that card's busted. And now... The Mirror Angel Opposition is pretty funny. There's also a Time Twister, but I don't know if this deck actually does anything with a Time Twister. Like, this is just... <laughs> it's kind of gross. Twister's fine, but like, what does it do for the deck? We play aggro creatures and then give them a bunch of cards? You're right, Amiria will wheel. Okay, I'm only taking Twister because Amiria's gonna wheel. I don't like Sword of Light and Shadow, it's really bad. We're gonna wheel Amiria. Ooh, Mana Confluence? Mana Confluence is good. Passing... Maybe a Brightling, but we need better mana. We have two in the sideboard. Yeah, I'm taking Twister in case we just like get a bunch of Mox and let pack three or something. Exactly, I Steve Becker. <laughs> we just always get Twister. It's like we get power. Yeah, we need way more blue. I mean, right now we have some. And Force is great if you're an aggro deck. Like, like I said, if we resolve this and then... Oh! You can't just high tide me now. That hurts. There's no way this deck runs high tide. Probably Honor of the Pure, to be honest. We can take Honor of the Pure, wheel, maybe a Relic Warder. Search for Skanda is not that good in an aggro deck. Frantic wheel, Honor of the Pure. Hmm. What does Frantic do for us, though? Well, Frantic does a whole lot. Because we need to wait until turn 3 to cast it. We're not going to be, like, high tiding or anything. And Anthem effects with History of Benali and stuff is really good. Uh, I'm going to take Honor. Crucible. Just kidding. Uh, Angel of Sanctions is a good top end. I do like that card. Parallax Wave is fun, too. And there's Walking Ballista, which is just kind of medium with this deck. If we had more mana, this card gets really busted. I do kind of like Angel of Sanctions as a way to just stop whatever they're doing. It also has Flying, which is great. Who was joking that we were going Mono White? Because we might, we might end up doing that. Well, if we do... Wow, that's a late Hoof Daddy. Um, that's a late Mutavolt. Also, Revelark. First time catching you stream live. I'm pumped. I'm pumped too, Dr. Kool-Aid. No, Lyra's pretty bad. Revelark's way better. It gets back like Mom, Riftwing, Geist of St. Traft, Blade Splicer. I, don't, I guess Lyra does pump our angels. 
You have angels take Lyra. We only have one angel. <laughs> I'm gonna take Revelark. Okay, well now we have angels. <laughs> but even then, this card is just good on its own. Flicker Wisp. Mm. Oh, Geist does make angels, but that's fine. I think that synergy is much better for something like Modern Cube, but in this cube, you want cards that just do stuff on their own. I don't think I'm going to regret it. <laughs> so Elspeth is good if we have opposition. All right, we'll take this. Wow, blue is like not open in the slightest. Um, I'm not playing any of these. Take a Progenitus, just cause. Okay, Mirror Angel, Wield. Avistan Angel of Terrible. I guess I take Mind's Desire. What is going on? How can High Tide be wielding but Blue not be open? What is happening here? I'm taking it. Nobody can take my High Tide away from me. We're going to wheel Lyra Dawnbringer anyway. I really, really want opposition to work. Wow, we got Parallax Wave. All right, Lyra Dawnbringer. Then we can go Mono White Angels. This is the pack. Nope. Mutavolt's good, though. Mutavolt's actually better than Lyra. Ooh, Tundra. Tundra means we can probably put opposition in our deck. Which I'm pretty happy with. Mutavolt is an angel, you guys are right. <laughs> we got everything we wanted. Ooh, Scalding Tarn? This is not a Shackles deck. Shell Duck Isle, we're never activating in this deck. I'm gonna take Scalding Tarn, it gets Tundra. Now our mana is actually decent. Wow. Yeah, this actually went pretty well. So we can play blue. I don't know if Force of Will is getting there right now. It's pretty bad. Now, Karn costs four. We need more early interaction. Like, we need, like, Mana Leak, Spell Pierce. We passed the days, which is unfortunate. Ugh. What is this pack? <laughs> what is this pack? Nothing in here is good. I guess an Oblivion Ring? Yeah, we need two and one drops. We, we just haven't seen any. Yeah, and we passed the Mana Tithe. Alright, let's take O-Ring. Oh, Moat would be spicy in this deck, because we have almost all flyers. No, Mentor would not be good in this deck. Um, I think I almost want to take Bodyguard over the Revoker, because it's... No, Bodyguard's going to wheel. We can take Revoker here, it's really good interaction, and then pick up Bodyguard at the end of the pack. Is that good? Maybe that's not good. Smokestack for life. Uh, I don't think this deck is really going to get Smokestack going. Revoker sideboard. I almost think Revoker main would be good. Silverblade history. It is much more important because it's white, so it goes with Honor of the Pure, and we can turn one it. <laughs> We're not going to be tooth and nail, Tenon Brawl. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take Bodyguard here. It's too good to pass up. Ooh. Glendalendra. Mentor is not good in this deck. We don't have enough non-creature spells. Caleb Gannon MTG. Uh, I'm sorry, Caleb Gannon MTG. I have to ban you. Chat. The rule is you cannot try to impersonate me. That's too confusing. You can come back with a name that's not mine. But just don't make stuff that tries to be me. Um, Glenelendra, Archmage, Skull Clamp, is that even good? Not with Honor of the Pure. I'm gonna take Glenelendra. Ooh, Marsh Flats? I told you I would be using this emote for evil. <laughs> so Marsh Flats makes our mana even better. Kitchen Finks gives us an early play, and Rishidan Port is just good. Hero of Bladehold? That card does hit really hard. Is Galeb Ganon MTG okay? 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably not. Flats is nice here. Yeah, I'm gonna take flats. Our man is still sketchy. Ooh, Kithian. Oh, Teferi. Whoa, and a spear. Uh, yeah, hero should wheel. I think we gotta take Kithian here. Man, Teferi this late is so weird. But it costs five, and we need some early plays. Thalia! Wait, is Thalia even good? I don't know if Thalia is good. <laughs> Let's uh, group creatures separately. What do we have? Non-creature spells. This. Uh, this. 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 Opposition. Parallax wave. Sword. History Oblivion Ring? I think it has to be Thalia. We need some kind of interaction. Tudor's good, but Thalia's busted. Like, Thalia could just win games. Ooh, Nykthos? Wait, can this deck actually be mono white Nykthos? <laughs> Nykthos lets us get around Thalia and Lodestone Golem. Hmm. It is colorless normally. I mean, the only other card would be like a Condemn, but we're going to be the ones attacking. Well, we got Sword of War and Peace, but I kind of want to take Gideon over Sword. Gideon's really good. I mean, Sword is fine for the sideboard, but we already have a much better Sword. I think this is one of the worst Swords. I will remember Lyra forever. Yeah. <laughs> um, Recruiter the Guard. I don't think I'm playing. I don't need more threes. He takes Smokestack for whatever. Wow. All right. And here, Blade Hold did not wheel. Okay. Now, how do we build the deck? This is a little, little difficult here. I think opposition has to be worth playing, especially with how good our mana is. I don't know if Nykthos actually goes in the deck. Cut, click. So we can cut, click, Force of Will. And... Let's see, right now we have 27. Mono white opposition seems right. Yeah, I like cutting, click. Um, what does Parallax Wave do for us? Oh, Opposition, we have the mana to cast Opposition, so I'm running it. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have five free blue sources, that's totally good. Yeah, Lyra, she didn't get to live the dream, but it's okay. Uh, I think, I kind of want to put Angel of Sanctions in the sideboard for now. We have like face fetters and stuff. I don't like the sword because pro black is offset by giving black a free discard. Yeah, like I said, I'm not a big fan of sword in general. Gotta eat. What are you eating, Exorok? You're making me hungry. I haven't eaten yet. I've been streaming. Elspeth. Do we want Elspeth? It might just be too expensive. And then we could cut Parallax Wave. What does Parallax Wave actually combo with here? Revelark. Revelark Parallax Wave is kind of fun. But I had a chicken soup and sandwich for lunch. Ooh, that's nice. I think I'm going to have salmon for lunch slash dinner. Let's see. This is 23. I don't know if I like the is it signet. But unfortunately, we don't have any other good twos. So this takes us from two to four. But it's bad with Thalia. Ooh, tomato soup and bread sounds nice. Are you going to cook the salmon? Well, I already cooked it, Smog, but I had to cook it really fast. I just put it in, unfortunately, a frying pan. I didn't even have time for the oven when I cooked it last. With uh, I put butter on top, and I cooked it relatively slow. Or no, fast. Relatively fast with butter. How, not R. Well, it, what I mean is it's already done. So I don't have any options here. I just put a bunch of butter and uh, lemon on it. 
Yeah, pan-seared salmon, basically. It wasn't the best, but sometimes you just got to make food, and you don't have time to really do anything fancy. And I had, like, two pounds of salmon that I needed to get rid of. Um... <sighs> what is, uh... Recruiter slow, but maybe great for silver bullets. No, I think it's too slow. We already have so many three drops that we can't really afford. Two pounds, yeah. I eat a lot of salmon. Uh, I think this is how I want to run it. Silver blade history. I kind of wish I had the loot scoop, but blade splicer is good. Swelling tarn, marsh flats, flood is drained. I think I'm just saying no to Nykthos for now. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight blue sources. We really want to be able to uh, opposition on turn four reliably. And Glenelindra is just so good, some decks just can't beat her. No Angel of Sanctions. Not yet. She, like, that card's good. But Revelart gives us like a lot of resiliency. Just imagine Revelart getting back Glenelindra, Thalia, Mother of Runes. Rifflin Cloud Skate, Geist of Saint Trapped. Like, that's all nice. Found your YouTube channel last week and have been binging ever since. Thank you for the great content. Thank you, Kimbo Chris. Glad you're enjoying it. Eight seems good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I think I'm gonna run it. Okay, uh, this hand doesn't do anything. And we're running 17. We do double white. Or double blue. Turn three Geist can win some games, and the Is It Signet is good, but this is effectively a six land hand. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna keep it has early interaction, I guess. <laughs> like this does beat some decks. Alright, let's do it. Starting off Marsh Flats, gonna fetch a Tundra. And then we can turn to a Signet. Grab Tundra. Ooh, okay, feeling a little better now. I think we roll, just use your Yoda account. Yeah, I agree with that. So the goose hits really hard. We want to get Geist down as soon as possible, and we're going to play around days here with a flooded strand. Oh, wait, we need white. What? Oh, no, I played a land. All right, well, <laughs> we're super playing around days now. That is unfortunate. Yeah, that sucks. Now we don't have double blue. Oh, no, we do have the signet. But, yeah, for those wondering what happened, we got man off the signet, but we accidentally tapped this for blue or something. I don't really know what happened. Give some given. Opponent's deck looks sweet. Yeah, Caleb, what? We messed up, but we're still fine. Hit for six. Replay this. And hope to not die to whatever sweet stuff is going on over there. Caleb, how old is your channel? Um, you asked that before, I'm sorry that I didn't answer. But my channel, my YouTube channel or my Twitch channel? My Twitch channel is like a two months, maybe? Maybe a month. Um, my YouTube channel is a year and a half old. Yeah, this definitely looks like Storm to me. That one is okay. Yes, you can you can live with that one all you want. Ooh, that's a good uh, good draw. Wow, opposition with the Vigilance Knights is sick. Um, I don't actually want to take damage off Mana Confluence. Two, three, four, play opposition. Um, 
It's too good to not attack with Geist. Yeah, let's... What happens here? So can Geist attack Jace? And then have the Angel attack something else? I think so. So let's attack you. Attack you there. And then have the Angel attack them. Okay, that seems good. And then stop on upkeep so they don't have any blue. History and opposition are definitely a combo. And OP is super dead. Um, I'm gonna let them decide what to search for as Kanto for before I opposition here. Okay, so let's tap Dark Slick Shores. I guess we just cut them off of black. Um, and then I'll let them go to their draw step, because they could just Escanta here. Okay, cut them off of black. Alright, let's do it. Um, so there's Storm. How do we beat Storm? Sort of Beast and Famine is one way to do it, make them discard. I mean, if we get Glenelendra or Opposition, we just win the game. Riftwing seems good. I guess I'm just deciding if I want Angel of Sanctions. Probably better than Revelark in this matchup. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot. We have, uh, <laughs> we have Lodestone Golem and Thalia. Opponent's in for a rough time. Yeah, let's, let's run it. <laughs> yeah, they're not going to have fun here. Oh, man, there's a Goose. Turn three. If we had like any amount of power, this deck would be so busted. Blue, red. Is it Signet? Sure. All right, let's draw Thalia. <gasps> we did it! <laughs> we did it, chat. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's hit for two. Oh my, I cannot be happier. We have the perfect curve with a Thalia now. Sometimes you just gotta call for the cards you want. If you go back to back trophy, you'll have to do a third. I think I'm already doing a third. This draft should go pretty quick, we're mono white. I usually try to draw the best card in my deck too. Yeah, I do my best. Metamorphose, ooh. Metamorphose with Thaliad is not, not fun. If only we had Dauntless Bodyguard to protect Thalia. Lion's Eye Diamond. But you can't... That doesn't work. I guess they just wanted to draw off Manamorphose, maybe? I don't know, that was weird. Ooh, Riftwing. That's not as good as the Goose, though, I don't think. We can just hard cast a Riftwing, actually, pretty soon. So let's play Tundra. I guess we swing for four first. Storm's gonna have a rough time here. And then play Geist. Decent start, decent start. I feel like I'm watching Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, believe in the heart of the cards. <laughs> it's basically there. Oh, they didn't hit a land drop. That makes sense. And they just wanted to get LED down. Do you ever play Arena? I do. Um, I just really, really like Cube. So whenever Cube is up, basically always going to be playing Cube instead. Um, but I do plan on trying out some like standard decks on Arena once this is all over. Still no profile pick? I'm sorry, no fun intended. Someone reminded me at the beginning of this. I'm going to do it. But it does look a little sketchy, I agree. Look, I've only been on Twitch for like two months now. Upkeep. Oh. The hard lock. Let's hit for all the damages. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I should have called Lodestone. I mean, opposition is great if they kill Thalia. Oh, they're at four? I'm very excited for Revnik Allegiance, yes. Well, we can't cast opposition because of the Thalia. You're pretty much the only Vintage Keep streamer I watch? Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Uh... Yeah, I don't think it's worth suspending Riftwing. Let's just play Mary Angel, pass turn. If they have a board wipe, then I guess we die, but I don't know how they're going to cast a board wipe. Okay. <laughs> round one down, let's go to round two. Poor opponent. They tried to storm and just hit the worst thing. What's your relationship with Caleb DMTG? We're the same person, beat Copter. No, I'm just kidding. Uh... I don't know. I don't know him. Aside from watching his stuff, he's cool. Yo, Caleb, you watched the LSP draft that was pissing off Paul and Marshall? Oh my gosh, I saw that live. That was so awesome. Yeah, I really liked that. For those who have not seen it, have you ever considered playing Constructed? I have played Constructed before. Uh, and I probably will again. I think I've explained this before, but the reason I do Limited is that most of my time during the day, oh wow, is spent thinking about like my research and stuff. And I don't have honey, homie C99, thank you for the follow. Um, yeah, most of my time th spent thinking about research. So like all day I'm like thinking about whatever I'm doing for my research. And I don't really have like the mental bandwidth to also think about constructed and like metagaming and what decks I'm gonna build and stuff. So for me, limited is pretty nice because I can like sit down, draft a deck, play it, and then go back to what I was doing. Uh, yeah, let's just go with Thalia. Hopefully this person's on Storm too and they just scoop. Are you going to do the pre-release for new Ravnica set? I might be. Um, I'm definitely drafting it online. Okay, opponent's blue-green. That's good. That's good. Double blue. Oh, Riftwing? I love that card. Um, what's it for? I guess they can't ever daze anything. Let's just play Geist. What guild am I most excited for? Uh, probably Teamer. Or not Teamer, Simic, because that's it has blue in it. <laughs> um, but as far as Limited goes, I'd have to see the commons. Red seems really sick. With the, they basically reprinted Lightning Bolt for like pop or burn. And then they have the card that's like red, X out of the top two cards in your library. I want to go off with that. And a lot of frog lizards. The set looks fun for sure. Green Sun Zenith for one. Okay. Ooh. So. <sighs> I kind of want to source the plowshares of Finhorn else here. Yeah, Gruul, they just they just revealed the card that's like red, red, green, green. First time catching you live, huge fan of your YouTube stuff. What kind of research do you do? It's in the description, but I it's kind of weird. Um I'm in the optics department, but I'm doing artificial intelligence to like help improve design methods. I kind of explained it down below, and I hope to link my papers eventually. But if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Mmm, so I think I'm gonna path swords here. Yeah, let's do it. I don't even want to let them chump. And then pass. I want to save O-ring for something better. And we're gonna play opposition next turn, which is great. The Grand Arbiter of Zuban. Hello. <laughs> That's quite the name you got there. Ooh, Blade Splicer? Okay. Let's go Flooded Strand. Thank you for the follow, Grand Arbiter. So, we can... Because they're just going to Cloud Skate us next turn. I don't necessarily want to play Blade Splicer, but I still want to attack. Let's attack first and then see what happens. OK, 
Okay, I mean, opponent is taking a bunch of damage. Hey, Mystic Snake to block Geist. I'm good for that. Now we don't get our spell countered. So, what is Cloud saying? Can we play any mobile games? I do not, unfortunately. What did I draft? Yeah, Mono White, Splashing Opposition. So if I play Opposition, they just hit it with Cloud Skate. If I play Blade Splicer, they just hit my token, and that's pretty bad. What do I play here? <laughs> I guess Blade Splicer, because then we can use Opposition later. Yeah. Because this forces them to bounce the token, and then we still have this, which is good with Opposition. Why is Opposition good? So Opposition says, tap an untapped creature you control, tap target artifact, creature, or land. So in this case, let's say I have these creatures out and Opposition in play, we can tap their lands on their upkeep, and then they can't play any spells. You can also stop them from attacking with creatures, like you can just... You basically get complete control of the game, and it's super busted. Eric? Oh, you have your own! So nice! So... They can tap our blue source, but then they take three, so they're going to tap a creature, I assume. Dr. Kool Aid 13, thank you for the Twitch. No, the tier 1 sub, I appreciate it. Uh, yeah, let's fetch our Tundra now. Okay, so we can Oblivion Ring their opposition first. Because that's going to get dirty really soon. Hit opposition. Tap the folia, yeah, sure. You take one, fall to three. So if we draw. Mm, no, we're not going to kill them just yet. Play an island and pass turn. You don't know what we have, opponent. It could be a mana drain. They should put stasis in the cube. Who would want stasis in this cube? <laughs> Maybe nobody would. Maybe that's just rude. Yep. I mean, you kind of have to just chump block with a cloud skate. Does stasis hold the title of weirdest card art? I think so. Oh wow, Glenelendra. One, two, three, four, five. I think I just run out Glenelendra. Hmm, this is hard. Yeah, it would, it would be great in stacks. Um, so they're at three. We can play Glenelendra this turn, and then opposition is lethal. I don't want to run out Glenel Engine just yet because they could have Cryptic Command, so I'm going to attack. Just Thalia. Okay. Play Glenelendra. That might just be Scoop City, unless they have a counter spell here. Wow. Okay, well, they're back in the game now with Mana Drain. Please, no Tooth and Nail. Please, no tooth and nail. <sighs> no tooth and nail. Don't do it. Okay, this doesn't look like tooth and nail. They only have three cards in hand. Hope Daddy doesn't do it. Avenger of Zendikar would be really annoying. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nope, this looks like this looks like Tooth and Nail Entwined. No. <laughs> Us casting 
Glodalindra killed us. Appeal. Oh no, they get to opposition here? Alright, let's float double blue. That's pretty good. That mana drain though. Alright, this is rough. Unless they don't have a mana L. If they don't have a play off this, they're at one life. This looks like a suspend Riftwing. Alright, we can come back from this though, because we still have O-Ring on their opposition that they can't really stop. Discard planes. Elix last life, thank you for the follow. Discard planes, planes. And we already have double blue, so I think I discard an island here. This is rough. Why Caleb did you ban us is now following. Okay. Uh, this is weird. I'm banning that again. Okay, now we can... Oh, we played the wrong land. Unexpectedly absent on opposition would have been nice. We can still do it next turn, though. Let's go Thalia. Actually, no, we're kind of fine here, because we can... Just kill them with Thalia. Yeah, okay, I was like, wait, <laughs> this isn't so bad. <laughs> um, Parallax Wave seems good in the mirror match. No offense, Caleb, but I can't believe you're big enough to have a dedicated troll trying to steal your name. It is a little weird. Yeah. Oh, Angel of Sanctions deals with opposition. Is good. I want Elspeth? Probably not. Their deck seems a bit of tempo-y. And... What do I cut? I mean, Revelark is nice as a top end card. They're running opposition or er, upheaval, so Lone Stone and Thalia have to be good here. Tonto, Mom, Mom seems good. Maybe I cut Oblivion Ring just because it's too sketchy without people. I think Angel Sanctions is okay. What's my favorite build around card to open in cube? Aside from Storm? Hmm. <laughs> Let's keep this hand looks good. That's a good question. I mean, everyone knows I love strip mine. Like strip mine crucible fast bond is the dream. But aside from that, channel is really busted. I think Tinker actually. Tinker's a lot of fun. Play bodyguard. Yeah, I think it's gotta be Tinker. But I also like uh I do like Bizarre of Baghdad, even though I never actually get to live the dream. Okay, history is going to be nice. Let's play Scalding Tarn. I'm going to offer the trade. They're not going to take it. Um, Thalia, I really like opening as well. But I feel like Strip Mine plays better with Thalia than Thalia does. What is this? Oracle? Wow, we're just getting browned, aren't we? Scalding Tarn. Are you a knight? You are a knight. That is sweet. Okay, so what's the best sequence here? My record, uh, we won round one. This is game two. Round two and we won game one. Uh, so we can play history. And then next turn play silver blade. And then history is going to go off and that's going to be really sweet. That seems like the best play. Although Silverblade Paladin, Silverblade Paladin lets us hit for four right now. And then history goes off. Okay, let's, let's get big dudes in play. So bond here, hit for four, double strike, or two double strike.
Oh wow, we have Angel of Invention and Revlark as well. Avenger is in a card. One, two, three, four, five. Next turn they can Avenger. That's brutal. Yeah, I don't think Glenelendra does anything right now. I almost want to bring in Force of Will against this opponent, even though I know we have like zero blue cards. Dude, come on! Does anyone know if there's anything I can do like with Twitch to just stop him from getting here? Who can I make a mod? Smog, do you want to be a mod? Hey, Smog, you're a mod. You got it. You're welcome to say no, but you're always on the thing, so you get a... Why not? Does anyone else want to be a mod? <laughs> If you abuse your power, we'll take it away. I didn't know it was so easy to mod. Is there an IP band? I don't know. I don't think there is. Maybe we can get there eventually. Yeah, I figured you wouldn't abuse power. You seem pretty chill, Smog. Control magic, the silver blade. That's good. <laughs> There might be my admins. Okay, I'll talk to Twitch and see what can happen. Yeah, I'm not going to just hand out mods. Okay, so... Well, there's our opposition. So they have... Avenger of Zendikar... And other stuff. Uh, not right now, Glenn Arbiter of Zubon. Uh, I'm only going to give mods to people who have been around the channel for like ever. Smog was on my channel since like, yeah, dude, no worries. Smog's been on my channel since like I started, like a year ago. Uh. Anyway, sorry, <laughs> dealing with this is making get playing really hard. Um. We can jam opposition, but that doesn't do a whole lot. I think we play history first. And I'll offer the trade here for Silverblade Paladin because getting creatures in our graveyard is pretty good for Revelark. Is he a knight? He is a knight! Wow, History of Benali is real nice. Uh, that's the guy who keeps trying to make account names that are me. Like, he keeps trying to pretend to be me, and I keep banning him so he's getting upset. Basically what's happening. Yeah, subbed in order to be mod. Uh, you don't have to be. Like, I never expect anyone to subscribe. Okay, so did they play land? Hang on, I gotta focus. <laughs> they did play land, okay. Um, so Green Suns gives them basically anything. So Green Suns is probably the best. And Riftwing Cloudscape is probably pretty annoying. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You can make follower only mode. Okay, I'll do it if it keeps getting bad. Got an issue with police. Best of luck, Forest NBC. Or I guess just Forest. So we don't want to give them double Forest plus Green Sun because that lets them maybe get like a crater hoof that can just kill us. Um, Randall J, thank you for the tier one sub. Cloud Skate. So we can give them a bunch of mana or cards that do stuff. I kind of like this split because I don't want mana plus green suns because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, let's do it like this is a weird split. I mean, green suns Cloud Skate is definitely the pick here. BRB is be right back. <laughs> no, we can figure out a way to get rid of that guy, don't worry. I 
I think I like this split. This is a hard game. So Forest is under arrest. I hope not. <laughs> there might be police, like, you know, there could be other things going on. Years ago, I thought it was bathroom break. <laughs> so they took the two. Oh, they got primal command? Ugh. If we draw a land, though, we can Glenelendra. Yeah, I'm going to add that in the bottom of my description, Smog. I think you have a pretty good idea of what's bannable and what's not. This is the opponent who had mana drain, right? Oh, Absent is good. Um... Hmm. So, what do we do here? We can't really stop them with opposition because they have primal command. What I'm thinking about doing is if they have a flash creature like Mystic Snake, then Silverblade Paladin kind of gets us. We can end of turn. Yeah, I can have some of the control magic, but it really feels like they have a Mystic Snake right now. Otherwise, they would have suspended the uh, Riftwing Clouds Kate or played Green Sun Zenith. So if I swing out, I kind of just lose my creatures. So what, what I can do is pass turn and then end of turn unexpectedly absent the control magic. And then History of Benali goes off, and then we can just play like Angel of Invention. Yeah, I'm just not even going to attack. Because History of Benali going off puts pressure on them, and then they just spend their whole turn doing nothing. They also have Mana Drain. Oh no. Okay, just one land is good. They do have a Fetch. Back, I miss anything? Okay, you're not arrested for us. That's good. <laughs> oh, you just missed us walking through some difficult turns is all. Bodyguard is a knight, yes. So our, our game plan, uh, I guess you weren't there for us, is end of turn, absent the control magic, get back silver blade, pair it. We have four knights and that should be enough to win. It really feels like our opponent has mystic snake though, or some type of counter spell. And they're drawing opposition, okay. So this is Riftwing Cloud Skate. <laughs> what do they Cloud Skate? Cloud Skate a Knight token? I could do that, I guess. My mom, chief of police, just had a cop pull my customers out and arrest them. Ooh, that's rough. The Mystic Snape and Hand propaganda? Oh, it makes so much sense, otherwise they wouldn't be having trouble tapping like this. Okay, Cloud Skate, what do you target? Probably Night Token. History Banali would be weird, but... Okay, that makes sense. They soul bond. So if they do this and pass up with four mana, then we might be in trouble. I think I'm okay. I mean, they're just going to hold up Mystic Snake and now they are winning. So we have to absent the control magic now. Put it beneath the top card. Actually, I almost want Control Magic to be the top card so they don't draw opposition. <laughs> and then we can set up for Glenelendra. Yeah, let's do that. All right, my guy. Let's uh, let's calm down. Let's 
Let's just calm down here. Um, I think I have to get in touch with Twitch to ban his IP. I can't do it from here. Okay, so they definitely have the Mystic Snake as we expected. So now we need to draw an island. Island. That's rough. No island probably costs us the game there because we have no way to deal with their opposition. Wow, there's like air jets going over my house. That's crazy loud. Um, we can play our own opposition, but we can't lock them out of blue. I guess we can play opposition... No, because they both have double strike. This is so rough. Chat, I don't understand how to win this game. This is a really hard game. <laughs> I don't know if we are winning this game, to be honest. I think our best bet is to just get creatures in play like Glenelendra while they're tapped out. Um, and we don't even have good attacks because they have double strike. I want to just keep my creature for opposition, but they have opposition, we're basically dead. Fake Caleb calling the airstrike, that would be terrifying. Oh, they have Hoof Daddy? Uh, I think we're dead. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't be putting so much time here. Right, they have opposition, tap everything. Cast Crater Hoof. Yeah, this is... Okay, we're... I'm just gonna concede. I'm saving myself the mental bandwidth of dealing with the Twitch problems and playing this game at the same time. We're just gonna scoop it up. Um, Lodestone seems good on the play. Revlark seems kind of bad. Eh, we'll, we'll, we'll keep Revlark in. Let's run it. Thank you so much, Smog. I appreciate it. Where do I live that are air jets? Arizona. There's an air base around here. Yeesh. One island in this hand is great. But this hand is too bad. Okay. I'm done for this. Keep unexpectedly absent. No, we need a third land. Play planes. Six drop Elspeth wins the opposition game. Uh, not if they play opposition first and you never get six mana. Honor of the Pure. Oh, this is going to be a sweet series of plays. How often do I stream? Uh, maybe right now it's going to be about once a week because I have a lot of research to do. But when new sets come out and stuff, I'll do a lot more streaming. Okay, Marsh Flats. I actually don't even need to play that yet. But we don't need any more lands. I do have a blue microphone. It's probably not set up optimally if my audio is that bad. Oh, double striking Geist is gonna be my dream. Don't do anything busted. Area 69. <laughs> What goes on there? Communism will win. Is there any card I'm most excited about in the new set so far? Yes, it is the uh, the blue green. Put a land into play. Draw a card at instant speed. Ooh. Okay. History is nice here. Uh, what do we do? So history makes a bunch of 3-3s three every turn. But Lodestone Golem... No, Lodestone doesn't even shut down opposition. If they have opposition, we're just dead anyway. Let's play history. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Opposition, if we play Silverblade Paladin and pair with Geist, then we can basically attack however much we want. And then Opposition doesn't do anything. Let's do that. And they have to chump every turn. Let's, yeah. I like that. 
attack you. And the angel. I kind of want to kill Nissa. Oh, paired with Angel would have been nice. We could have killed them in two turns like that. You guys are better than me. <laughs> I mostly just wanted, let's say they jam opposition. I wanted to be able to get Geist through a reasonably sized blocker. I think the only way we lose is opposition. Or I guess they can upheaval right now, but that's pretty bad for them. No, Soulbound is anything, I believe. Yeah. Okay, hopefully we can win this. This has been a really, really difficult draft. <laughs> Four mana, three mana. This does not... If they just pass turn, I'm not going to play anything. You got any good emotes for subs yet? I got this one. Unfortunately, until I hit a Twitch partner, I can I can only have one emote, which is unfortunate. So I'm kind of just waiting. Also, this one's got it's grown on me. It's kind of funny. <laughs> and uh, if you spend twenty five dollars, you can get this emote, which intentionally does not show up on black chat because don't spend twenty five dollars. Ooh, that's a good play. So let's attack. Make a goose token. This feels like opponent trying to mana drain into upheaval. So I'm just going to suspend Cloud Skate. Oh, damage? Why is it stopping in damage step? Oh, first strike. <laughs> Not going to lie, I thought Caleb getting an MTT was another fake. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's why it's bannable. Like, you can't just pretend to be me. For everyone wondering, if it does not have broadcaster icon, it's not me. What's going on, OP? First strike damage went through. Oh, are they just trying to like, I don't know what's happening here. Why are you so scared of people pretending you? I'm not scared of it, it's just like, it makes the chat a bad experience, mostly. Okay, I don't know what's going on with OP, so I can talk with you guys. Yeah, if people pretend to be me, then you get questions like the one that was just asked, like I thought it was you or something. And then it just gets confusing, and it's annoying, yeah. It's just not, it's not good for anyone, really. I'm not casting anything in case they have mana drain. I don't want to run into it. Because of the confusion, it's not fun, it's annoying. Like, why do you need to do that? It sh there should be a clear line between who I am and who I am not. And usually it's indicative of like more issues. Like, I mean, you saw the person come back and just start cussing us out. So it's like, you don't really want people who do that in your chat anyway. Just hide all names. <laughs> all right. And we all know I am not Caleb. I don't know, Smog looks like me. So this looks like an upheaval into Land Elf. But we have a Cloud Skate. Yeah, I can't do anything, okay. Yeah, that's a good play. Oh, please draw one drop here. If we draw one drop, I will be so happy. I've never seen that either, Gabum. It's because my stream's small enough where like they'll be noticed in chat. Unexpectedly absent, that's a good draw. So let's pass turn, discarding. Lodestone's a bit expensive, I think. 
And we already have double white. So in case we draw opposition, opposition's a bit expensive too. I kind of want triple white. Yeah, let's discard the island. Okay. <clears throat> so for two mana, we probably just absent something. Okay, search for tomorrow. They're ramping hard. Riftwing comes down next turn. I like that. Ooh, Blade Splicer's good. So, we can unexpectedly absent the Elvish Mystic and then Riftwing Clouds get a land. I kind of like this. And we're going to do it now before they have like Mana Drain or whatnot up. turn and then next turn I feel like it's got to be history got to head out all right thanks for tuning in perfect Fritz play your mystic pass turn cast cloud skate hopefully this does not get mana drain but if they had mana drain before this is probably getting mana drained that's not good that's not good at all Uh Mana Drain's such a busted card. <laughs> oh, it resolved, okay. Um what do we bounce? We can bounce a mystic that cuts them off of mana and a creature. I think I'm okay bouncing Mystic here. Okay, we get to draw. Planes, okay. Let's hit for two. Unless we want a Silver Blade Paladin and hit for four. If they had Mana Drain, I feel like they have to counter the Cloud Skate, so. Yeah, keep them off GG. That's what I'm thinking. Silver Blade for double strike, that puts them dead like very quickly. But we can just go Geist, Silver Blade next turn and kill them. So I think I like playing Geist. Because we can play Geist this turn, yeah. If they had Mana Drain, they, any reasonable person would have countered this, because this is fine. No, they had it! Wow, what a madman. What if I just didn't play anything? What? It <laughs> That's insane! Who does that? That is insane. Literally a mad lad. I don't understand what's going on there, but... What if I don't what if I don't cast anything? <laughs> Please force storm next. Uh, we'll see, ASDF Becker. We will see. R slash mad lads. Exactly. He should be on there. He went he got less mana, and I feel like Rifting Clownskate is a much more impactful card here. Oh, I don't like creatures either, Becker, but this deck was like, we were drafting the open line, and this deck is really good. I mean, uh, we might be. What is this? A Cloud Skate or Cloud Skate? Opposition. Into Elf. That was a weird series of events. I don't know what's going on there. Tap that, okay. Get into the trials. So we can play Silverblade Paladin pair with the Cloud Skate. Mana Leak incoming? Well, we're not beating a Mana Leak. Uh, maybe we could beat a Mana Leak. They don't have upheaval yet. 
So history goes wide as does Blade Splicer, but I like history more. I guess we attack first and then see what happens. Yeah, let's play history. Okay, no mana leak. And these have vigilance. Yeah, they already used upheaval. They only have six mana, so they can't like Avenger or anything. And they just turned down a bunch of free mana off mana drain. Uh, this is round two and game two. So we're we're fighting for the 2-0 Tenebral. Please don't be what I think it is. Not drained tournament. Plow under. Okay. Uh, I want this on top and then this on top. I mean, we can still cast spells. Plow under doesn't do a whole lot. This opponent's living the dream, but I don't know if it's the dream they want to live. What time is it? All right, cutting off my mana is bold. It is a uh, 226. Oh, I get to do this now. <clears throat> yeah, they have one card in hand and they're fighting this. Like, it's not going to work out for them. Any of my knights next turn is lethal. My Riftwing Cloud Skate next turn will be lethal. Because they have to tap this. Yeah. All right, let's, let's go to round three. <laughs> Hey, welcome Captain M22. Anthem. Dude, Anthem's great. 10.25 p.m. You must be in the UK or something. Or Europe. The greater UK. <sighs> yeah, let's keep. Hands great. Switzerland, nice. I really want to go there someday. I passed through it on a train one time, that's all I had. Um, so I kind of want to draw land, so I'm just going to play Dauntless here. That was insulting! What? That's not what I meant! <laughs> I meant like... What do they say? Like you have a city and you say like the greater city area. I mean like as in it's around it, not that it's better than. Mm. So we can honor of the pure. Or we can source the plowshares, the evidence pilgrim and cut them off mana. Honor seems pretty good. We could just source anything bigger. Look, we can all agree my knowledge of geography is not the best. <laughs> Whoa, what is going on here? Opponent's mana leaking this, I'm okay with that. Spell queller? Well, it's a good thing to source the plowshares, I guess. Wow, what is this mana base? It's beautiful. We are 2-0. Um, so we can just jam a History of Benalia here? That's so mana efficient. We can't attack, but that's okay. I kind of like playing History. If they mana like this, then we're in trouble. Okay. Pass turn, and then we get to Swords to Plowshares and Oblivion Ring. And then that's just the dream. Is he coming out of the locket or is he going into the locket? Don't actually know. We have drafted a great standard deck. <laughs> if standard had Swords to Plowshares, you would definitely be right. Oblivion Ring is even worse than the Convoke one. Leovold. Yeah, it's a, it's a good card to Oblivion Ring. Attacking with Spell Queller. Uh, 
Okay, so Scalding Tarn can only get islands. Let's start with Oblivion Ring. Or no. Let's start with Stores of Plowshares on Leovold. You draw a card and you gain life, but that's okay. And then we have Oblivion Ring here. We died of Mana Tithe, but I don't know if you play Mana Tithe in a deck with Leovold in it. <laughs> Cast this. And opponent takes a million damage this turn and a million damage next turn. Seems good. And we get to Revel Arc for no value. Revel Arc has not been good so far, but if they play a board wipe, it's still not that good. The Scarab God, sure. Mox or Recall? It depends on which Mox, but probably Recall is better. Um, so they fall to four life, even after they chump with the Scarab God. Seems good. Oh, perfect. Um, so Blade Splicer gives us more things, but Revelar just gives us a lethal flyer. I'm down for a lethal flyer. Yeah, Recall is probably better pack one, pick one. Five. Go ahead. Only taking Lotus over Recall. Uh, Soul Ring could be better than Recall. Soul Ring is super busted. Yeah. I, well. Ooh, that's hard. I'm I'm torn between uh, Lotus and Soul Ring. Pack one, pick one. Because Lotus enables like the really really busted turn one or turn two plays where a soul ring is just really good consistent value library is overrated but it's still really good like i love library of alexandria so they can cast opponent's mana base is ambitious but i can never judge because i'm <laughs> i'm known to run these mana crypt and vaults i would probably take those over library Pack one, pick one, I would take Mana Crypt. So everything's lethal. Let's attack and see what happens. If they kill Revel Arc, we get the Bodyguard. They can't activate Colonnade. They have to chump everything. I almost never grab Library. I screw up playing with it every time. Yeah, it's a little tough. Flash Fire. Archangel Avacyn, still they die. Abrupt Decay, the Oblivion Ring. Getting back Spell Queller to chump block? That seems worse than just killing a Knight token. <laughs> Uh, no, I guess that keeps you alive, but. Play Blade Splicer. And I'm gonna keep this land in hand so they don't know what's going on. They're at one life. Library isn't great in every deck is a problem. Uh, it's. Yeah, I mean, it's not like amazing in like mono red or something. I don't know what their deck does, but I almost wanna bring in Sword of Feast and Famine against them. Is that bad? They have a Leovold. Nah, let's just run it back. Deck's perfect. Yeah, library is really only good if you get it in your opening hand. Whereas, like, you can top deck a Mana Vault or Mana Crypt and it's just amazing. I think I'm going to keep this hand. It is five lands, but it's got two really good interaction cards. And Glenelyn just seems like it just beats their deck. And we have a shuffle. 
but we can't really draw any more lands. It's good in mono red burn. Like, you would not say no to a library in mono red unless you had the best deck ever. What is this mana? Signet? Yep, Signet makes sense, so let's get a planes. Wow, this is a lot of non-lands. I kind of want to absent the Signet. Maybe put it on like Weird Storm. I'm going to put this on top. No four drops for you. Also, can we draw any non-land pair, please? <laughs> if Glendalendron gets killed or countered, we're so dead. And that would not be fun. What cards are you guys excited for in the new spoilers? Okay, replay Signet, cast turn. Angel of Invention, okay. Yeah, Lotus is better in Storm. It's insane with Yawgmoth's Will. Yeah, our deck is great. Just do nothing until turn like 20. <laughs> uh, I think I do run out Glenelendra just because we need to play a spell next turn. Oh, never mind. Let's play Gideon here. They could have Spell Queller. Can Spell Queller... Hang on. Captive Audience. <laughs> I want to see if Spell Queller works for four, or if it's just three mana. Four or less. Okay, then let's run out Gideon. And then we can follow it up with Glenn plus blue up. The Mantra's Mana Dork for cube. Oh, that card looks so much fun. Um, I think I just... We can spell queller us. I'm gonna emblem Gideon here. Seems fine. Yeah, four is good. Abrupt decay Gideon. Okay. We have a Gideon emblem. <laughs> That's a start. Rhythm of the Wild Tessia. What is the blink bus? I haven't seen all the spoilers, so I'm not super up to date here. What does the opponent's deck do? <laughs> I don't know what's happening. One run green enchantment, creatures you control can't be countered. Oh, that seems great. Scooze is fine with me. Opposition, so let's play Glenolendra. Or we can just jam an Angel of Invention. So Spellcaller gets us only with Glenelendra. Let's play this, because I'd rather have Opposition in play. Oh, seems good, okay. And we have to remember Scavenging Ooze can kill Glenelendra from the Persist, although they only have one green source. Hailless Jailer. Oh, that's really good. Okay. Goodbye, Glenelendra. So they draw some cards, but we get to play Angel of Invention. Birthing Pot on a Body. It's going to be fun. I don't know, though. It, it has uh, Summoning Sickness, which is a bit problematic. Swords to Plowshares. I like that. So let's run Angel of Invention here. Three, four, five. And make some one ones. Servos. And then I kind of want to source the scavenging use right now in case they do have any counter spells. But I'm gonna save swords. They could have something scarier than a 2-2.
All right, we're gonna get this three out, chat. I believe it. Fighting for the good, the good fight. <laughs> Option to hit creatures, super good. Still talking about cards. Okay, so they swing. I don't mind taking the damage because we want to attack them for damage. Okay, nothing is good. They get to draw a card, which is fine. Do I swords? No, I'm gonna swords if they play spell or as a blocker here. So let's go planes, hit for two. Spell color comes down. Oh no, it's a kill spell? That's not good. What is this? Archangel Avison. Just be a creature I can source the plushers. Repeal. Alright. So they keep the monarch, but we get more angel tokens. Could be worse. Servos, pass turn. They keep drawing cards off the Monarch, but we're gonna get it very soon. And then that should just win the game. Man, this card's busted. <laughs> the red temporary draw two for one mana. I'm really excited about that one, Schmitty Hedge Mage. It seems like it's going to be worse than we think it is, but it's probably really good. Like, I'm just imagining running that with like Risk Factor and the other one that's like basically Lightning Bolt. It seems really fun. Like Mono Red Experimental Frenzy. When you're doing mana bases for Vintage Cube, how do you consider an off color mox? You basically treat it like a colorless land. That's all. I always consider Mox in his lands. We were talking about replacing Lava Spike, but overall it's not going to be played anywhere else. Uh, I mean, in Standard it's going to be played. In Pauper it's going to be played. I think I can just go alongside Lava Spike. Simic Signet, sure. As soon as we get opposition, we win. Please opponent, <laughs> just make a play. <laughs> How are they playing slower than us? All right, Knight of the Reliquary, sure. What is Knight of the Reliquary doing? Waiting for a random Sphinx's rev? I wouldn't be surprised to see that from the opponent. Um, so now they can't have any flash flyers. They draw a card. Knight doesn't really scare me, but I guess that gives them a bunch of lands. Opponent's deck is bizarre. That is for sure. <laughs> um, so Scavenging Ooze means our Glenelendra can't do stuff. I think for that reason I'm going to Swords the Scoos here. Five color cards in deck. Oh, you're right, they could still have Spell Queller. Yeah, I didn't see the Elvish Mystic. Um... Hmm. So we can go planes. We have one, two, three, four. So we can play opposition into Lodestone Golem. But if they have Spell Queller, that's pretty bad for us. Man, I should have kept Swords of Plowshares to play around Spell Queller. You guys were right. Because if, like, let's say I just swing with Angel, then we just die if they have the Queller. 
All right, let's do it. They still can't beat opposition. Okay, they don't have the Queller, otherwise they would have played it to block. That's good. So now we can basically just close the game out here with one, two, three, one, two, three four, opposition. And then we can play Lodestone Golem or we can hold up Glenelendra, but I feel like opposition Lodestone Golem is enough to win a game. Draw a card. Ooh, Mom. Okay. So let's tap down the Mystic. Can you oppo? Well, the thing is, if we play opposition, then they queller the opposition. So then they just have a 2-3 in play, and we can't Angel of Invention. Tap your lands. I guess Knight of the Reliquary is a good one to tap. OK, they're just kind of scoop city here. Put them off white sources because that can kill enchantments. Um, this. This. Oh no, I want to cut Botanical Sanctum, I guess. And sure. I don't want to let them attack and become the monarch again, so I'm going to keep one blocker back. Bomb Diggity is, yeah, this, this card is so dumb. <laughs> we beat this deck, well, we haven't beat them yet. Well, I was trying I was trying to tap all their lands so they can never use a Signet here. Dude, come on, seriously? He's back, but he's gone. I mean, he's upping my follower count, I guess. That's worth something. Manglehorn. It kills Lodestone. Oh, no, they get the Monarch back. Fine, you can have the Monarch for one turn. I think we already did report him. I'm Q, thank you for the sub with Twitch Prime. Yep, you're the monarch, you draw a card. Oh wow. That's pretty good. Silver Blade. Soul Bond with Angel of Invention. Play Mom. I didn't oh you're right. Tapping Lodestone would have done it, but we Pretty much have this game locked up anyway. Let's hit for five and then, or wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They're just dead next turn. Yes, yes, that was a suboptimal play. You guys are right. They got to draw one extra card. Um, yeah, let's swing like this. Oh, I'm back. I kept the stream going while I was away. Well, thank you, Exorock. Appreciate it. And then we get to tap their things. Ooh, Ketian's good. Okay. Tap. Starting with Knight of the Reliquary. Are we going to 3-0? Are we going to get two 3-0s in a row with relatively janky decks? <laughs> Palos Jailer has been the MVP of both drafts so far. Okay, so they just let it be tapped. Tap the Mystic. Okay, so they have green. Um, I'm just going to wait till their draw step, I guess. Let them use this green mana. Well, we can tap a little bit more. Tap. Yeah, I think I do want to tap the Signet here. Tap them off of white and black, basically.
And I don't care if they become the monarch because we can just kill them next turn. Tap that. So they can swing out to become the monarch, but then they lose a creature. Okay, let's give them that much mana. That seems fine to me. Yeah, where is Blightling? I love that man. He's the one who like Twitch sub donated like a million uh, Twitch Prime subs to people. Is Jailer really all that much better than things like Trinity Nemesis? Jailer is amazing. It's a four mana exile a creature draw a card every turn. White really needs more high pickable cards in Power Cube. Yes, it is really good. Yeah, do not underestimate. So they're going to swing with both, but then we just tap down a creature and then they die. I mean, this card gets played in, like, Legacy, I think. So we let them attack. If they want to. Hey, Caleb, are you missing Lyra? No, Lyra wouldn't have done anything extra rock. Although, really none of our angels did anything. Basically, we just won off of a bunch of dudes and opposition most of the time. <laughs> but Lyra Angel Tribal would be good, more so in Modern Cube than currently Regrowth Abrupt Decay that you cannot cast. Sure. Uh, do I actually let that happen? We can Glenelendra counter that. Can we just kill them? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have super lethal. I'm just going to... Did they play a land... They did not. So if they go Swamp, what do they abrupt decay? Silverblade Paladin? Let's counter it. No, 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 no. Glenelendra, counter this. Well, they can just float in mana, so that doesn't really work. Oh, counter tap both. Free Vigilance. Okay, so they didn't have anything anyway. So tap the land first. And then tap you. And then we play Kithian. And then we don't let Bodyguard or Silverblade Paladin. Opposition tap this using this. And then swing out for 10 hundred thousand damage. Hey! <laughs> That's another 3 0 right there. <laughs> 